Hi guys, I'm gonna show you my my favorite uh, three base location. Technically, this is my main base for uh, breeding, breeding and handcrafting. As you can see, I have two breeding farms, one on each side of the you know the play the base, and it's also for uh, you know handcrafting. So I have like uh, places to build, uh, craft some stuff, and I have a little bit of um, gardens over here, the food, and this is where my main base is for my pals to rest, you know, and this is like where I put my eggs. I have some. Uh, Places for crafting over here, as you can see, my assembly line, spheral assembly line. I also have some stone mining, and I have this guy over here, production assembly line. And I have a house. Now, the house is optional. You don't need the house, but I made a house because I just want to. Uh, because if you want a, another breeding farm like this one, so you could remove the, hall, the house, and you could make another breeding farm, which would make three breeding farm, but I don't need three breeding farm right now because as you can see nobody's breeding and then because I'm not um, you know I'm still not in the process of breeding anything but I will eventually I also have um, uh, two ranch no actually three ranch I have three ranches you no know, because sometimes I need a lot of uh, like uh, items that I need from certain uh, pals that will drop when they go to ranch you know what I'm saying uh, so basically this is my main um, you know my main place as you can see and as you can see as well there is no nods there is no mining nods and it's very good that there's no many mining nods because the mining nods usually would bug my entire base sometimes pals would be stuck on the mining nod so that's why if you have mining nods I highly recommend that you build something over it so that your pal don't don't get you know like stuck on the mining nods make sure that when you build your main base that you have like the you know the necessary amount of pals that in your base so you don't have like you say I can have up to 19 pals right now but I don't use 19 19 pals so you just want to use the necessary amount of pals so that you know you don't waste on food and you see I have my food over here so make sure you only have one food basket some people they put two food basket uh, you don't need two food basket you only need one food basket put the maximum which is 10,000 10, the other like just leave it open for your eggs your milk your wheat uh, anything else that you need to make cakes because over here I make a lot of cakes as you can see and when I make the cake I put it in the uh, the breeding farm storage box and I have 111 cakes as you can see which is a lot so meaning in the future if I, if I want to breed it's going to be super mega fast and efficient as well and also make sure you have a cooler over here I put a cooler right here and I put the milk the uh, the what is it the red berries and everything else uh, that that needs cooling but you see the uh, cotton candy and the honey you don't need to put it here but I leave it here because it's convenient you can have yeah I have enough place for that so make sure you leave it there and uh, make sure you bake your berries so that you can put it in the in the food basket over here as you can see so that people will not starve and since I've been doing this nobody has any issue nobody's sick nobody's weakened nobody's starving uh, make sure that your food basket is properly uh, like built in a place like in the middle of the base um, so that's it so take a good look so I'm gonna show you where I am right now I am over here which is like so this is the starter zone over here so I don't know I don't know the coordinates but it's like in the middle over here and the reason I, I picked this spot over here uh, is because it's next to the uh, you know the warmer zone uh, it's a it's next to you know like the, the the colder colder zone over here so but the thing is that we have fast travel so it doesn't really matter where you are what matters is the conveniency of being somewhere where you can actually where, where I can breed uh, you know my pal my eggs uh, you know efficiently over here as you see I have a lot of eggs and some eggs like they don't they don't need to have too much cold they don't need to have too much heat but if I need like to breed some eggs like a rocky eggs a scorch egg or any eggs that requires more heat I'm going to build this guy over here, uh, electric heater or even a heater. So all I have to do is to build those. Uh, but electric heater gives you more heat than the heater. The heater gives you one one bar of heat. The electric heaters give you two bars of heat. So depending which egg you're doing and where you're located, you may need to have the electric heater in order to heat your you know certain eggs, right? To have 100% incubation speed. But if you don't mind and if you don't have the electric heater you can go with a heater over here but then uh, it's gonna give you one bar of heat so you're not gonna get a hundred percent for certain eggs for incubation speed per se you know what I'm saying uh, also bear in mind that heaters well, you will have to have a pal that can actually generate um, have kindling so you need a pal with kindling to make to function this right uh, electric heater you need a pal uh, with kindling as well but you will need to have a uh, electric uh, power generator with electricity so basically you need someone like this guy over here to to generate your um, your power generator so if you don't have that uh, the, the electric heater will not work so so everything is like a chain reaction you got to make sure you got the proper tools the proper facility 
to make something else work. So this one gives two bars, but you need power generator and a, a, a pile with kindling. This one, you don't need a power generator, but you only get one bar of heat, you understand? And you don't need a power gener generator for this one. So you gotta double think of what works best for you. The, the, the place that I am right now is perfectly fine for, for eggs that requires more heat, eggs that doesn't require any heat or cold, and eggs that require some cold. So if I need, um, so if I'm incubating eggs that requires, uh, you know, colder and temperature, I would make a cooler over here. So basically by doing a cooler, uh, you will be able to, uh, you know, lower the temperature for certain eggs, like frozen eggs, for example, that may require it more cold in order for, you know, for them to have 100% incubation speed. Uh, now I'm going to show you my other base. So my other base is over here. So Masanda, uh, no, is over here, right? So look carefully. So this is the, the, area, the starting area. It's over here next to Seal Realm of the Guardian, which is next to the level 38 Violet World Boss. It's all the way to the right over here. All right, so you, 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 you kind of need a, you know, to be a, a little bit higher level, you know, so this is the starting area. So it's a little bit all the way to the north over here, right? So if you go over here, I'm gonna show you why I took this place. So here I made a platform, as you can see, and I have my beds over here, right? And the reason I came over here is because I have iron ore and I have coal. So here I have coal over here right so let me double check there you go so i get coal from these guys so i have coal i have a little bit of woods and i have a lot of iron ore over here so this is like uh the per for me that's the perfect place to actually have you know both of them at the same time so again i'm gonna show you where i am it's over here on the mountain so it's uh east of the level 38 ballot so remember this place and you can come here with a uh, flying mount if you have one I put all my uh, some uh, you know refining ingot stuff and uh, you know I get my big berries over here and as you can see on the right there's uh, nothing here I, I put like a mini house uh, I also put over here uh, some uh, hot spring and high quality hot spring so yeah so here I have some hot spring you know what I'm saying over here I have my uh, berry plantation so you need to feed your uh, you can feed your people you know what I'm saying and here i always uh over here i just cook them there you go big berries and when it's cooked i just put them in the basket make sure you have one basket only put all your berries over here uh at the same place so that people can come and eat over here uh you know anytime they want make sure you make uh you know your beds properly uh, also make sure you have like uh like this guy over here storage where you can put your you know your stuff right so as you can see here, I have like dig toys. So if you look at the bottom right, I have artisan and lucky, which is pretty cool. If you can have artisan, is very good because artisan will give you 50% work speed, and lucky gives you 15% work speed. Runner gives them an increase, you know, uh, movement speed. But if you don't have that, that's all right. As long as you have dig toys, which is very good. Don't forget, you can also enhance them uh, over here with this guy. So if you press V, you can enhance them, you know, if you want to, uh, work speed, whatever. So if you have the uh, soul pal, that is. And as you can see here, you make sure you have the necessary amount of people. Like you see, I put Reptiro, Reptiro over here because the reason is they have kindling and they have mining. So this guy has only mining. So I want to make sure you have people that only does mining. And this guy is doing kindling. So this guy, uh, what he's going to do if I need to, I'm going to ask him to do some, you know, like uh, this. Like they're going to refine ingot. You know, I'm going to ask them to refine whatever if needed, if, if needed be, right? So... That's why when they when when they do their kindling stuff and when they do their baking stuff over here, you need people with kindling. Otherwise, nobody's going to be able to work on that. And when they're done doing their ingot or whatever needs to be done with fire, they're going to go back to uh, mining. So as you can see, they have mining and kindling. So that's why I like Reptiro. Uh, but the thing is, I also need dig toys to make sure they just work on mining so that the mining gets done ASAP. You know what I mean? So this you got to be strategic about that. I have three Reptiro over here. So... And then I also have a Gory Rat over here. This guy is good for, um, what is it, lumbering and hauling and crafting as well. But I don't really do crafting in, in this base. I mainly need him for lumbering and hauling. And as you can see, there's a lot of trees around. Like, I mean, this is not supposed to be for lumbering but i mean those trees can be like a, a resource that can be used for other purposes so i need them to actually cut the trees and then if there's nothing to cut then they will be hauling uh you know the materials that you can as you can see that is spread all around the base you know what i mean but again this is optional you don't need to have him if you prefer to have just uh reptiro it's good as well or just dig toys it's a personal taste also as you can see on the bottom right it says he only consume three breads so that's mean he's he doesn't consume a lot of food which is very good this is one of the reasons why I 
took him as well. This one consumes a little bit of food. This one consumes a little bit of food. Both of them here. This one consumes a lot of food, but all he does is hauling. So I need to have 24-7 uh, haulers, as you can see. And these guys are nocturnal. So because they're nocturnal, they don't sleep. Let me double check. Are they sleeping? Or are they working? What are they doing? There, his one is eating. What about this guy? I think he's going to haul. Oh yeah, he's transporting. There you go. See? They're hauling 24-7, which is fantastic. I need some people to haul 24-7. So that's why you got to be strategic about how you're going to plan how you got to planify your base. Who you're going to put in there? Uh, I got this guy for watering, uh, crafting, and hauling. Wa mostly for watering and hauling because over here I have, like I said, I have like uh, berry plants. I need somebody to water them, right? And then when they're when he's done watering, he's going to be hauling because, like I said, I need a lot of haulers uh, because there's a lot of stuff to haul in this base. As you can see, I have a lot of uh, materials that needs to be stuff uh, that needs to be transported. You know what I mean? So that's that. Uh, and I have two of them. So to be able to, you know, water faster and then to haul right after that. I also have this guy over here for um, lumbering because, like I said, I, lumbering can be a, a resource that I need in the future. So I need someone someone who to just do lumbering. And as you can see, he has logging foreman. So basically, he'll be 25% uh, increase in logging efficiency. So I'm using this guy, and he and he's okay. You know, he does his job done. He gets the job done. And these two over here is for seeding, planting, uh, planting and harvesting mainly, and hauling. This one is for planting. Uh, and these two over here are for crafting and hauling. Yeah, so they're ha mostly haulers because I don't really craft anything and they cannot mine. And I don't have any medicine as well over here uh, for crafting. So they're mainly haulers. So I could take somebody else, but I don't have uh, let me see because the thing is i could take those two over here but i prefer those two over here for some reason i don't know like i, I kind of blend both of them and it works for me but again you can choose whatever you want you know what i'm saying and that's it i don't need to put more than that if you want to put more be my guest but you know the more people you put the more food they're going to eat and as you can see i have six thousand uh you know berries and i have never had any issue with anyone starving oh somebody's starving right here what the hell i did not notice that i think it's because he's stuck somewhere let me see yeah he's stuck somewhere i'm gonna do this boom there we go where is he where is he no he's sleeping wait it's not this guy was it this guy i think it's this guy here wait which one is hungry? This one is hungry. There he is. There you go. See, now he's eating. There you go. So sometimes your piles will be stuck. If you see that they're hungry or starving, that's mainly because they're stuck. All you have to do is to take them out, put it, take, put them back here, and then put them, put them back in your pile base so that they can start eating. So it can happen because, like I say, this is an alpha state. So there's going to be a lot of bugs, you know what I'm saying? So it happens sometime. Oh, see this one hungry. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm going to do this, do this. There you go. And then she should be eating. There you go. See, now she's eating. So you got to come to your base and double check if somebody's starving. Mostly it's because they're stuck. So you got to make sure you spread out your, you know, your base properly. Make sure there's nothing you know that will make them stuck usually what would make them stuck is uh like i said the nuts the mining nuts sometimes you know like they will bug on that but it could be anything if you see they're stuck in the plantation like you know you want to come on the plantation over here and you just like go around them like this right and they're going to start moving usually they're going to start moving let me see they're moving yeah they're working so if you see their if you see their afk here they're not moving that's because there's a bug and all you have to do is to come around here and just move around like this you know, go on them and they're going to unbug. Now, if they're still bug after you do that, all you have to do, like I said, is to go back to your pile box over here, right? You, all you're going to do is you're going to unassign them like this and then put them back over here. And that's that's all you have to do and they will be unbug, you know what I mean? Let's go back. Let's go to the other base right now. So, I'm gonna, the other one is over here. Um, I don't know if you can see. You have Untharable Lake. So, it's all the way to the left, the, uh, the west over here. Um... This is Anubis, so if you know where Anubis is, it's all the way to the north. Here I have um, cold, where is it? Um, cold Shore. I have No Man's Trail, all right, and then I have Unterrible Lake, and it's all it's to the west over here. So this is your starting area. So this is pretty much like late game, like later once you get level 36, level 30, level 40. You know, so you have to go all the way to the north, north of Anubis over here, all the way here. Right? I don't know the coordinates, guys. You just have to use your eyes and use this as reference on Terrible Lake, uh, No Man's Trail, and uh, Cold Shore. So it's all the way here. And I'll tell you why I go there. 
I'll tell you why I picked that place. It, it is mainly because, well, when you go there, first of all, you got to make sure you have uh, this here on thermal on the shirt. And you got to make sure you have cold resistance armor as well. Because if you don't, you're going to die. If you look at the bottom left, uh, you need it's going to be super mega cold. So you got to make sure you have something against the cold. You understand? Once you do that, you will be able to build your base over here. And as you can see, uh, this is mainly for quartz. So here I have quartz. So when you get late game, you, you, you're going to need a lot of quartz. And this place is full of quartz. Right? So here I have quartz. Pure quartz. Right? So over here I made my base. So look carefully. I got some plantation for people to eat. Um, you know, I got my beds at the bottom. I got more beds at the top. So look carefully. Made a little house over here. I don't need the. Um, I don't need this guy. I don't know why I did that. One second here. So this is my bed, right? This is my little bed. Uh, there you go. I got this guy over here, and someone is hungry. Who's hungry? So like I said, when you come to your base, sometimes they're gonna be bug. Like your pal may be bug. So you want to make sure that you go over here and you double check. Uh, you, see, you will see like an information where somebody's hungry or somebody's starving. So you just want to double check everybody's fine. So everybody's fine so far. See, I don't have any information where somebody is starving. It, like I said, if they are starving, that's because they're stuck. They're bugged. All you have to do is to like take them out and then put them back in like this. That's all you have to do. So if I look right now, take a good look, uh, and nobody, everybody's fine. Alright, ooh, I got a lot of stuff over here. Holy shit. So as you can see here, there's a lot of uh, pure quartz nuts. And you're going to need this. You're going to need this for late game. And this, like I said, this is where I am right now. So, see, this is on Terrible Lake. This is No Man's Trail. So it's like here. It's like northwest of No Man's Trail. This is mainly for pure quartz. This base is mainly for pure quartz and nothing else. Don't try to put other facilities like stuff for crafting. You don't need that because then you will have no more space and you're going to need more, you know, like you don't need, I, I don't need any crafting, anything here. All I need is miners. So here's the miners I have is dig toys, dig toys, dig toys. I have Anubis, Anubis, level three, as you can see. I got this guy for baking, uh, for kindling, I mean baking food. And after he's done baking, he's going to take care of the trees. This guy for hauling, this guy for seeding, uh, lumbering, and hauling. Uh, she's there, actually. What is she there for? Oh, I put her in the ranch. Why did I do that? Oh, because I needed her for... Okay, this is optional. I didn't have to... I don't need her, but I put her over here because I wanted to have some, uh, you know, sphere, like blue sphere, whatever. For cotton... I took her for cotton candy because this person over here, when you put her... Assign her to the ranch, not this one, this one over here. Uh, you, you get... You, she drops cotton candy, and I use the cotton candy. Sometimes, the reason the reason I need cotton candy is because of this guy monitoring sense. Sometimes, will make them, you know, work faster. And when I make them work faster, uh, they will lose sanity faster. And when they lose sanity faster... What I usually do is I come over here and I do this like this so that they eat the cotton candy first and they gain, regain sanity faster. You know what I mean? So as you can see over here, I'm going to do it right now. So you see they're working faster, but their sanity is going down lower, which is why you want to put the cotton candy in first position so they eat the cotton candy first. And once you see that their sanity is good, if you look at their sanity... Then what you're going to do, you're going to go back over here. You're going to put back at normal, all right? And you're going to transfer this like this. Boom. There you go. So now everything is back to normal, right? So you see everybody's 100, 100. So everybody's 100%. You don't need cotton candy. But like I said, that's the reason why I have cotton candy uh, with a ranch over there. So that I make sure that, you know, if I need to use this guy over here for hard working or a super hard working and when they lose sanity, I just have to switch this to this and there you go. Boom, boom, shakalaka. You know what I mean? So you got to be strategic, guys. You got to be strategic and you have to think in advance. You have to be proactive, you know what I'm saying? That's how you are efficient in your base. Right now, I don't need them to be work super mega hard. 
so I, I, I don't mind them being normal. If I want, I could even like help them to mine by like this, but I'm not in a rush to get uh, pure quartz. If I was in a rush to get pure quartz, then I would use the uh, monitoring stand over here and I would put them on super hard working, but then of course you would need to be proactive and use this in first position, cotton candy, so that they can regain their, sta their sanity faster, you know what I mean? So this, these are my three bases, guys. Um, once you get late game and like I said, everything is perfect for me. So if this helped you, please like and sub. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in my next video. Cheers.